the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, a good Friday morning. We are already off to a warm start here in the South Plains, and it doesn't look like this afternoon will get much better. Unfortunately, we're talking about record highs across the South Plains today and tomorrow, possibly. But we're starting the day off dry with a few clouds around the region. Unfortunately, doesn't look like any rainfall out there this morning, but we could see maybe a stray shower later on today, but really not going to do much for us in terms of cooling us off. We are still dealing, though, with what's left of Hurricane Laura here in northeastern Arkansas. Arkansas prompting a few tornado warnings in western Tennessee and in northeastern Arkansas this morning and bringing some more heavy showers and storms there to deep east Texas. But unfortunately, we didn't get any of that rain from Laura. In fact, Laura did nothing but help warm us up even more. Our top of the tower looking back to the west here from KMAX Studios, you can see the city lights of Lubbock. No visibility issues as you head out on the roadways this morning. We do have that system of high pressure just overhead, and that's going to stick with us through the weekend. That's what's going to bring us the heat, but notice we start to see the jet stream move in a little bit more as we head into early next week and even a low pressure system swinging down through the Texas Panhandle through the Sooner State early next week and that's going to bring us some cooler air and hopefully some more rainfall to the South Plains. Now today nothing cool about this forecast 104 in Lubbock 102 in Tulia notice 108 in Childers and Paducah with those 100 and 110 degree temperature readings all possible across the Rolling Plains and Permian Basin later on today. So here for Lubbock we're talking about records today and records tomorrow. Notice right above that tomorrow as well with a high of 100. The old record of 99 will be at 101 on Sunday. Hopefully we don't hit the record then. That day is 104, but a cold front Sunday night into Monday morning will cool us back down closer to average into the lower 90s and even a few upper 80s. Not out of the question just yet. So as we take a look at the rainfall forecast, what we'll notice, well, a few showers later on today, maybe a few more Saturday, especially across northern portions of the South Plains. Looks like a better chance in the Texas Panhandle. But as we go into Monday afternoon, starting to see a few more of those showers and storms here in the South Plains. And then as we go Tuesday night into Wednesday, that's when more activity will move in. Models have kind of shifted all of this further on off towards the east than what they were showing yesterday. So it looks like those rainfall totals will go down. And honestly, that's what we expected. That's why we told you to take yesterday's forecast with a grain of salt because the system has been varying quite a bit over the past couple of days. Now the European model only showing about three hundredths of an inch of rainfall. That's about 1.2 inches lower than what it was showing yesterday in the GFS still not showing much around 13 hundredths of an inch of rainfall between now and Wednesday of next week. So again, that cold front is going to move into our area. It's going to be weakening though as it does. So that's why we're not sure how much rain we're going to see and not exactly certain on just how much cooler those temperatures will be. But one thing's for sure is that the heat will be here this weekend. A high of 104 today, 100 tomorrow and 101 on Sunday. And then early next week, Kathleen, we start to cool off a little bit. It's nice to see an 89 degrees there on Wednesday. But what's even better is to see those rain chances going up for this weekend and early next week. Yeah, we'll take any rain chances we can get here in West Texas and certainly thankful to see those even pop up in the forecast. I'm sure our producers will greatly appreciate it. Definitely.